There's yet a third president in this matter. No, yes, that's that is, no, that's not him. He's his representative. His representative. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. <laughs> well, I, no, let him finish. I come to speak, I'll let correct him that finish. impression. But okay. I am not representing anyone. Okay, okay. So okay. I will tell him why. I'm okay, mm -hmm. okay. So that's how Akure ended. So you need to get this clear. Now, when Akure ended, they moved over to Makode. It was in Makode that my brother here, Shandan, was produced. There was other issues which I do not want to go into. But Congress did not hold concrete sleeping. We had stories of how the minister then announced him and let her feed some people into the ESCO. A lot of people were feeding into the ESCO to make it up. Now, at the end, why this thing was going on in Makode? One man called, uh, who used to work closely with Henry Wabi, one of the people who are uh, paradigm that he's a president, went to court that they should not have an election in those areas because his matter is pending in court. And what is this matter pending in court? That him, Ayabe, which I, maybe he said he would represent him, contested the election with Henry, and that Henry was over age. So that the court should strike off Henry for him to become president. This was a kind of an RNG situation. And then while that matter was in court, while that matter was in court, they went ahead and had the election in Makodi and in Mina. And now Henry went to court and said, since the matter was pending uh, in court, it was how they got this bench ruling that the court said, this one he was talking about, that the court set aside those processes in Makodi and in Mina. But later on, him, the lawyer of uh, James Ayebe, withdrew their case. This is, this is, it's good to think that he's here. I have the, I have the, I have the, I have the, I have the ruling. They withdrew the case. This is, this is the ruling, the judgment, sorry. The matter was struck out. Now, simple legal principle. If the substantive suit had been withdrawn, I don't think any other restraining order, anything should be standing. That's how basically I feel that matter has died. But there's one thing I want Nigerians to know, and that is what I want to show you in this ruling. A committed member of the council called Ozo, who has a Center for Advocacy and Development in Africa, CADA, went to court. As a result of that, the constitution, the, the ruling of the court with which Dixon, Akko, and Ajani came in had a mandate of six months to do election, that they did not do election. Now, when this matter went to court, the argument then was that, hold on, hold on. Let me read directly this number three, the ruling, that all purported Congresses of Akure 2013, Makodi 2013, and Mina 2013, which are product of the NTC they were part of, that produced Comrade Henry Wabeze, Comrade Shanda Yakubu, and Comrade Adulahi Majid, respectively, as factional president, are declared null and void. That all factional executive produced by the multiple congresses mentioned in paragraph 3, are hereby dissolved. This is judgment of the court. Is that all? By, uh, by Ozo. Is that now, all? And they that they should constitute <laughs> the Congress Planning Committee. So it was as a result of this that a management meeting was held. And June 6 <laughs> was set aside for the first one which did not hold, and later on August 6 to 8. It was in the August 6, yes, August 6 to 8, 20, this one, that that's I participated, I and I was declared winner by the Congress. Okay, thank you. Real quick. Your own story. Please, who do you represent? Yes, I like I said, I represent uh, Mr. Anyebe Ode. Mr. Anyebe Ode contested election with Henry Wabeze in Akure. Now, uh, you know, you asked a very important question about the National Youth Council of Nigeria. The Youth Council has been existing even before I was born. You know, then it had so many policies that we can find today. You have somebody like uh, a very, an octogenarian, uh, Chief Femi Okuno, a senior advocate of Nigeria. He was former Se National Secretary of National Education Council of Nigeria. That was when the council was something. But at a point, some individuals hijacked the council. That is where you now hear that there is a constitution that says, except you're a voluntary youth organization or you are this, you don't know about youth council. Meanwhile, the name purports to represent the youths of Nigeria. That's why many people, they don't know. Some of them will be wondering, what are we discussing here? That, by the way. Now, Anyebe sued her in Wabeze. He got all these things that Ikenga was saying were what he was told. <laughs> you are very much aware Ikenga has been in the PDP. So Google his name. He's the head, head of the... Can we stay focused on the matter? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 let, me, let me not digress to that. Now, now Anyebe sued her in Wabeze singularly on the issue of his qualification as to age. I represented him. I'm, I'm part of the council, but as a lawyer, I offered to represent him. I represented him in that suit. Now, we've, we asked the court that we are here over a congress that was supposed to hold it on do. 
Now, they are about doing another Congress in Makodi. The court looked at our application, saw that there was no, not any, any letter or publication whatsoever postponing on the, but postponed the on the Congress. The court said, I won't grant you another interim, but I will ask the parties to stop whatever they want to do and come. Let me hear all of you. Put them on notice. We immediately did all we could. I entered night bus to serve the ruling on the ministry and the National Youth Council. And the, the then legal advisor of the National Youth Council, Mr. Tutko, has received it. And thereafter, they went to Makodi. And they, conducted, they wanted to conduct the election. The election did not even hold. He was produced. They came back. The crisis now developed many heads. We went to court and filed another person and said, My Lord, despite your ruling, they went ahead to do whatever they did, and so so person being Shendam here emerged. While that while this motion was yet to be heard and determined by the court, another group went to Mina and conducted another election. <laughs> Should we call it youthful exuberance? <laughs> whatever it is, youthful lawlessness. Youthful lawlessness. While that was being done, immediately they did that one, we went back again and filed another motion telling the court, while you are even yet to determine that they did what you said they shouldn't do in Makodi, mm. they have gone to Mina to do another one. Then we had the issue of representation. Anytime you sue the National Youth Council of Nigeria, at least three lawyers will come claiming to have been representing the BOT. The person will say, I have the mandate of BOT. And it, it happened in this case. Three different lawyers. And the court said, well, that will not take us, we will resolve the issue of representation, but let us first find out. Why did they, were you served with this ruling? They okay. said yes. And the court ruled. Okay. Finally, let me cut it short. The court ruled. And in that ruling, first, the court said, his election, which was organized during the pendency of the instant suit, is hereby nullified. It's, okay. it's final. Okay. He said, he, you were elected during the pendency of this suit. Mm. That is an affront to the court. You are hereby nullified. Mm -hmm. Mina, you were elected during the pendency of this suit. You are hereby nullified. Which is what he read out. Yeah. Okay. No, no, he's not Mina. He's no, not no, Mina. but that's what he read out. No, 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 no. 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 That's not what he read out. Okay. That's another judgment. You hear okay. about this. There is no time, sir. I want us to... Okay, now, now speak quickly. The court did not only nullify them. The court went ahead to restrain them perpetually from parading themselves. This thing he said here, I can serve him from 48. But he's obeying court order. That, by the way. So now, at the end of the day, based on court judgment, the yeah, 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 yeah. this is the yeah, 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 Ugo Chinyere Ikenga, President National Youth Council. Yakubu Shendam, President, President National Youth, Youth Council. <laughs> and Amosola Dixon, our co representing the National Youth Council, but BOG Secretary. Okay, thank you very much, gentlemen. And we wish you all a fantastic time as you try to sort out the issues with National Youth Council. Because the youth, there are a lot of comments here. Yes. They don't know who you and they that want to be part of this. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So, we'll be back in a moment for the home stretch. Please don't go away.